So you've got iTunes U connected to your Blackboard course shell. Now you want to begin uploading content. How do you do it? Well, let's start from the beginning. We'll click on the Courses tab. And again, we'll use EDU 360 for our purpose of demonstration. We'll click on that. Again, we'll go to Control Panels. And we'll click on the iTunes U link. You'll see there's an iTunes U area defined for this course. So now you just click on iTunes U. And iTunes will open up <coughs> in a new window in, in iTunes. You'll need to make sure, again, that you have iTunes downloaded. It's a free download at apple.com forward slash iTunes. So make sure that iTunes is downloaded, uh, the latest version. And um, it will automatically connect you to the EDU 360 Integrating Technology and Teaching um, course. Now keep in mind that this content that's within this EDU 360 Integrating Technology and Teaching is only for the students that are enrolled in this course and for uh, faculty that are teaching the course and then administrators. Nobody else can see this academic content except those that are enrolled uh, and that's security that's built in in a pathway from Blackboard to iTunes U. So once you get here, what do you do? You've got a, a movie file or a, a podcast, an audio file, a PDF, and you want to be able to get it to your students. Simply click Upload Files. And what that will do is that will open up a new browser window. This browser window will give you a couple different uh, options. And it's as easy as uh, um, uploading an image into Microsoft Word or anything like that. You just simply add, click Add Tracks, and you'll see it says Upload to Tab 1, and there'll be a dialog that cl that appears here, Choose File. So you'll simply click Choose File and then browse uh, for a movie file that you may have or a music file that you may have. Um, so once you've selected uh, uh, a podcast, uh, audio file, or a video file, click Choose. We're not going to right now. And then what it will do is give you a dialog uh, here to let you know uh, that the file is being uploaded. It'll give you a, a progress bar to let you know how much of the file has been uploaded. Keep in mind that when you're uploading audio and video files, they're larger files than just maybe image files or, or Word documents. So it takes a little while for the files to upload. So be patient with iTunes U um, as, as you upload files. Once the file's been completely uploaded, this window will automatically close. If it doesn't, you can always click Return to iTunes, or you can click out of that, and then you can go back in you will see that the uh, file has been uploaded into iTunes U and it will be down here. So that's basically a quick tutorial of how you get content into iTunes. If you need help or want more information about this and other tutorials, visit our website at www.arbor.edu forward slash oat or academictechnology.org. Next I'm going to show you how you actually connect the content in Blackboard for your students to consume.